Hey all, Sheen here. I just woke up like an hour ago to the announcement of a new Nintendo Direct. Like, holy shit. And I'm both excited and sad. Like, finally, a new Nintendo Direct. We've been waiting for this. It's been like three months since E3. And on the other hand, I'm like, fuck, I gotta make a video in less than six hours. So since I don't want to do that much editing, and like I said, I have like six hours to make this video, here are my, hopefully, quick predictions for the new Nintendo Direct. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, I'm not fun. No, I don't want to use that. Okay, I'm going to start off with what everyone is thinking about. The final Smash DLC character. So, in the past, I've said I wanted Doom Guy and Crash Bandicoot. And while I would like both of those characters, I just don't think they would make the best final DLC character. Except maybe Doom Guy, because that would make me very happy. But I feel like what... Nintendo needs to do is make Master Chief the final DLC character. But well, to be honest, they're probably just gonna pick a Gen 8 Pokemon. I wouldn't be opposed to getting like a Gen 8 Pokemon like Cinderace or Toxtricity if it was anywhere else in the DLC packs. But like, come on, it's the final DLC character for Smash Ultimate. Go out with a bang like Master Chief, Doom Guy, Waluigi. Hell, give us Sora or a goddamn Tetris piece. But if they were to go on a slightly disappointing bang with a safe and generic pick like Cinderace, I wouldn't be mad, just slightly disappointed. Anyway, next topic, because there's other stuff to talk about. Next up, I have the prediction we're going to get a new Donkey Kong Country game. And I'm going to get an outlandish idea out there that it's going to be called Donkey Kong Country Return of the Kremlins. Guess who's coming back? It's been seven years since an original Donkey Kong Country game. The last original Donkey Kong Country game to come out was Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze on the Wii U and that Switch port like a few years ago. But that doesn't count because all it did is add a funky mode. And since Smash Bros gave a sort of little revival to King K. Rool, I feel like in this game he should be the main villain again, going back to the old roots. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I have not played any of the new Donkey Kong Country games like Donkey Kong Country Returns or Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, but if they announced that game tomorrow, I would buy in a heartbeat because I've always wanted to play those kinds of games, but I didn't want to buy a $60 port of a Wii U game. But yeah, give me King K. Rool, the new Donkey Kong Country game, and uh, we'll all be good. Okay, this one is going to be out there. This prediction is probably the most unlikely out of all my predictions today, but I just wanted to put it out there because if they do announce this tomorrow, I'm going to be screaming at the top of my lungs saying, I FUCKING CALLED IT! And here it is. Something Chibi Robo related, either a remake of the original game from the GameCube or a new Chibi Robo game going back to its roots from the original game. Basically, I don't want a Chibi Robo Ziplash because. This game blows! Either way, put Chibi Robo on the Switch and I'll be happy. And now onto the third party games. I actually have two ideas for this category, so this should go along pretty quickly. First idea is a Persona 4 Golden Port for Switch. Since it's the only mainline Persona game not exclusive to a PlayStation console, I think it has a slight chance to come into the Switch. And also just to piss off the Smash fans who want Persona 5 on Switch first. Uh, AKA me. I want I want Persona 5 on Switch. It, it's never gonna happen, but I want it. And because of Kazuya's inclusion in Smash Bros., there's a slight possibility we could get Tekken 7 for Switch, or an older Tekken game re-released on Switch. I don't know, I just want to see Tekken on Switch, to be honest. And then there's the 10,000 other third-party games I don't know slash don't care about. I'm looking at you, DC Superhero Girls. I don't give a shit about you. And now I'll talk about the rumors about the Nintendo 64 games coming to the Switch. I personally think they will do Nintendo 64 games because it's been like a year or two since they released the SNES games for Switch. And now it's time for the Nintendo 64 games to come to Switch. I don't know if they'll release a Nintendo 64 controller that splits apart and connects to your Switch. But I kind of hope they do because I want to see how stupid it looks. Now here are some titles I'd be looking forward to if they do actually release Nintendo 64 games for the Switch. Uh, Ocarina of Time, Kirby of the Crystal Shards, Super Smash Bros., Mario Party, and Majora's Mask. And a bunch of other ones, but those are the main ones I'd be looking forward to. To end the Direct, I think they will announce Mario Kart 9. And if they end the Direct with this, I will be so freaking happy. I could make a whole video on describing what I want from this game, like the new character possibilities, the new and retro tracks, there's just so much I could talk about this. I just really, really want this to happen, like, oh my god. I hope they add costumes for the characters, Dude, I just, I'm just getting worked up about just thinking about this, but all I have to say right now is, new costumes, 
cool new characters and a mission mode, and then you would make me the happiest person on the planet. And that's the end of the video. I told you it would be a sort of short video because I had to do this in 6 hours, but I'm surprised I actually managed to do it. I didn't want to talk about inevitable stuff that was going to happen in the Direct, like Metroid Dread and Mario Party Superstars update details because it's a Nintendo Direct. Nintendo loves to talk about stuff they've already announced. But anyway, thank you all for watching the video. Uh, I really appreciate you guys for watching this. And if you enjoyed the style of video, maybe consider liking the video and subscribing. It would really help out the channel. And let me know what you think Nintendo will announce during this Direct in the comments down below. I'll be streaming at the Nintendo Direct tomorrow on my Twitch channel, link in the description. So I'll see you all tomorrow with the direct reaction. Later!